Uh, Excellent. Gold medal performance. I know, oh, you, yeah. you limbered up. <laughs> oh, all right, you all okay. listened up here. We, did, we tested you and you tested positive for parsley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure yeah. was it rosemary? Yeah, could it be? He denies it. <laughs> yeah. That was a masking substance. Okay. <laughs> what do we got here, pal? Okay, we got chicken pot pie, what I've done uh, yesterday. I marinated it. it smells good. We took some uh, carrots, mm. some onions, some celery, some parsley, rosemary, bay leaf, some peppercorns, white wine, and you just marinate it. And yeah, I mean the flavor. A whole day. A whole day. A whole day. Okay, oh. that yeah. really gets the flavor. Oh, you're going to get the wine. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Mm. I mean, you, you can just smell it in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you cook the chicken, the wine disappears. The alcohol, anyway. The flavor stays. Yeah, yeah okay. the flavor stays and the alcohol is gone. Well, okay, that's olive oil. So I'm going to start off with some olive oil. I'm going to start uh, frying off the mushrooms. I mean, uh, most of the people just use the regular mushrooms. I've got some oysters, some shiitakes. You want to put some chanterelles. Or chanterelles are coming in season uh, shortly, so mm. you can use those. A so little combining expensive. mushrooms is a good yeah, idea. Yeah, a lot of flavor. The basic the white mushroom doesn't have much flavor, no, it does doesn't. it? It's well, sort it's of very, ornamental if it's yeah. anything. Because, yeah. I mean, they produce it. It's, uh, it's produced so fast. Is that what it is? Yeah. I mean, you, you put it onto a... Uh, it's all in a, it's all into a dark room. Then after uh, just... Within a, a week, I think it just comes out. Boom! They pick it. Yeah. So oh. Yeah, there's you really get much flavor. Oh, to boycott those things. <laughs> Not there. So I'm gonna uh, start up. I mean, you can slice. You can do slivers if you want of the chicken, or you could do uh, nuggets. You know, little uh, squares. So I'm gonna square them up. Why? Right. Mmm. These are the good comfort foods of fall, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Uh, and you know, it's getting a little uh, cold out there. Mm-hmm. Telling me. Last night was chilly. <laughs> yeah, it was, eh? Yeah. So I mean the. Uh, well, I like, and I, I think I'm going to do uh, put on the menu coming up is some uh, a chili. Or the chili with grilled oh. cornbread on it or something like that. I like you know, that. Yeah. Excellent idea. Maybe you can make that here for us. Sometime. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, idea. be great. Something like that. Warm right up. So back to chicken pot pie. Back to chicken pot pie. So we got the uh, mushrooms going to fry them up, okay. and then now we start. We got some carrots. Uh, I've cooked these already. Been blanched. So these are all root veg you're going to use. Yeah, root vegetables. vegetables. Okay. Yeah, rutabagas, which is a wax turnip. Put that in there. Some parsnip. Ooh, mm. Kind of hearty. Mm. I think that's a good way to eat parsnips. <laughs> I don't think many people like just they have a pile of parsnips. Parsnips are pretty good. So you I'm gonna like heat up the pan. Yeah, I like them. They're kind mm. of sweet. You make yeah. a parsnip mash. Mashed potatoes out of parsnip. You yeah. can. Yeah. Nice can with you? venison and uh, duck and that. Really nice. Can you add sugar? <laughs> make yeah. it less parsnip-like. Okay. There's some salt. Some pepper. That's white pepper in the show? Yeah, white okay. pepper. We've got some pearl onions in here, all kinds of goodies. Yeah, I'm mm. going to put some, uh, sorry, yeah, I haven't put that in yet. Uh, some pearl onions. We'll okay. put in there instead of just regular onions, we're going to put some pearl onions. Now, they have oh. a milder version of the onion, Chef? Or just smaller? They're just smaller. They're, they're, they're actually, flavor wise, they are a little more mild. Okay. And, uh, and you actually, they, they look very similar to Cipollini uh, onions. Yes. Uh, Cipollini's are Italian, uh, little Italian pickled onion, very sweet, almost like a Vidalia onion. Right, only a miniature version? Yeah. yeah, exactly, a little small. Okay. Uh, they're from the shallot family. Oh. Those little shallots. That's one thing I have yet to cook with. A shallot? A shallot. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm honestly, yeah, oh. yeah. I always go with the garlics and the onions. Oh, if you put garlic, you put shallots in with it. That's what I heard. Oh, it's sweet. It's, oh, really nice. It right. brings up the flavor, totally. Oh, look, he looks at us like we're eating. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's just I can't course, believe. Goes, <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I love, oh, oh I shallots. Oh, I love this man, yeah, that's your executive chef. Uh, velouté, which is uh, a roux, which is flour uh -huh. and um, flour and butter. Mm -hmm. And you cook that out, then you add a stock to it, chicken stock. Chicken stock. Yep. Mm. So, I mean, you can probably buy this at the store, I imagine. But, I mean, it's very easy to make. It takes a little time. So fast, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I cheated last night on a chicken pot pie. <laughs> so, I heard. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm it's okay, yeah. But it was chicken. Yeah. It was pie. Then, uh, it looked like chicken. some 35% uh, cream. Oh, good. Nice and rich. Mm. I, I, I was using my eldest voice <laughs> off the top. Still <laughs> <laughs> got like three minutes there, yeah. uh, Chef. Okay. So, we're going to cook that up. And I brought some herbs too. I'm gonna to put some nice herbs in there. Fresh. We got yeah, fresh. We got rosemary, thyme, and uh, some parsley. Oh, but you've got to say it in the other order. Oh no, there's no sage. Parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme. This isn't Scarborough. <laughs> what I was gonna say is uh, we're still doing the food drive. This is our last uh, week, Friday, okay. and we're at 1,250 pieces. That really? Is great. Yeah. So we're. Uh, our goal is 1500 but I really think we're going to probably get close to 1800 Isn't that okay. great? Yeah. So the idea is people take out their food that they don't need, their cans, their packages. Yeah. Well, and I mean, most of the stuff we have is from uh, is from our staff. Mm -hmm. we, have, we still haven't got much of a response from the public because the public uh, can, uh, for every four pieces of items that they put in, 
they have an opportunity to win a weekend um, for two at the hotel. They get dinner in our Nordic uh, dining room. They get brunch the, the next day. That is yeah. such a good contest. Very, yeah, very so good. I'm, uh, I'm yeah. So we still haven't got a very good response out of it. So you're looking for non-perishable food items non that that's right. in, and then the people that are, are nice and donating this can get a chance to win something. Yeah, so the very that's cool, they'll, folks. Uh, they give you a ticket, and then uh, we do a raffle. Beautiful. And when will that happen? Uh, what ends is uh, Friday, so by Tuesday we should have everything uh, all organized in that. Okay. So yeah. then uh, I have the chicken cooking in here. We have the 35, the velouté, and now we're going to put the root veg into there. Oh. Valute, that's uh, Valute. Valute. With Corinthian leather seats. <laughs> <laughs> Only the real stuff. Mm, perfect. Mm. Perfect. All right. Then I brought, uh, sorry. Can I ask you something? Are you excited about the uh, the, the Canadian uh, Food Network coming? A good old Canadian version? Yeah, absolutely. So we can yell ban here and ban. <laughs> oh, totally, yeah. Good. They're, they're, well, they're talking about 60% Canadian and 40% American. That's what I heard last. No, nah, well, that's as well, Canadian I mean, as we get up here. Yeah, so I mean, that would be excellent. Mm -hmm. Do you ever watch Iron Chefs or any of those? Yeah, I have. Oh, yeah. do you like that stuff? Yeah, love it. Ah, I love it. Mean, it must be dessert. What the heck is <laughs> that right. all about? It's your main ingredient. <laughs> but there's, uh, yeah, no, people talk, I mean, people think, no, because the guys come on and they have an hour. Mm. But they, they, they actually have five days prior to that, they'll know what f uh, five of the items, uh, it could be one of the five, mm. three days before is three, mm. then they have two days before where they're, they're going to know what they're actually making. Oh! oh. So it's fake! So, well, it's not really fake, it gives them a head there's start. Out, there's absolutely no way that you can come up with five, six items within the hour you, you have to... If you give it a right, deal. Like, yeah. 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 Here you go. I can't here's even here's do that with chicken. You're going to need 15 <laughs> minutes, 20 minutes to, to make the items. That's true. That's Fantastic. True. You don't know what, you, what you're going to do in that. Let me get some help. We got uh, 15 seconds, Chef. Okay. Oh, and perfect timing. Then we have a uh, puff pastry. Oh, yeah. You can oh. buy that at Loblaws. Can you? Yeah, they, they sell it in one little pound blocks. You roll it out. Look it, it's perfect. The gold medal goes to yeah, Manny Brazil. right around the neck. <laughs> I'd like to thank your mother and the academy. <laughs> thank you, Manny, very much. Thank you. For reservations and information on the Valhalla Inn, and don't forget their great yes. contest, uh, non-perishable food items, please call 416-239-2391 or log on to their website at www.valhalla-inn.com.